Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jen Smith. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe for more cooking videos. Today I'm teaching you how to make stuffing. This is a recipe you can make for Thanksgiving. It's very delicious and you can make it all year round. These are the ingredients that you need. A large loaf of sourdough bread, one and three quarter cups of heavy cream, one and a half onions. This was a large onion and a small onion that I cut in half. Two stalks of celery, two carrots, one egg, two tablespoons of parsley, and four to five, six, <laughs> four to five sage leaves, minced sage, and five to six minced sage leaves. One pound of sweet Italian sausage. Make sure you preheat your oven to 375. When this is done, you're going to bake it for 30 minutes. You can start with the sweet Italian sausage. If you have a cast iron pan, that would work best. If you don't, you can use any kind of pan. You're gonna cook this up, separate it with a spatula into small pieces. While the sausage is cooking, you have a little bit of time, but make sure you keep checking on it. Put the onions, celery, and the carrots inside the food processor. Then you want to pulse this. You want the pieces to get small. You don't want it to get ground up into a puree. Make sure you get a little bit of juices in there because the juice is going to marinate into that bread and make it really good. See these pieces? They're like nice and small. That's ready to go. I need to check on the sausage. Next, you can cut your bread. I'm starting with half of the loaf just in case you don't need it all. You want to cut it into small cubes. So what I like to do is put it inside my baking pan before you mix it up with the other ingredients, just so you can see how much you need to fill. You don't have to cut the whole entire loaf necessarily. Depending where you buy your bread, it might be a different size than somewhere else. Another tip when getting your bread, if you get it from a bakery or somewhere, you should ask for them to slice it for you. Sometimes it comes in a whole loaf and I ask them to slice it. It makes it one step easier for you when you're ready to cut it. Next, I need to work on my knife skills so it doesn't take as long. <laughs> Cutting the bread is probably gonna be the longest part of doing this recipe. It's a little bit tedious, but it's gonna be so worth it in the end. <gasps> I hope my egg didn't just crack. Next, you're gonna take all the stuffing pieces and put it into the bowl. Whoops, that happens sometimes. Can I have the two oven mitts, please? Once your sausage is done, you can pour it into the bowl. Be careful because a cast iron pan is very hot and very heavy. Next, you gotta mix this up, the sausage with the sourdough bread. Mix in your vegetable mix from the food processor. Like I said, the juices are going to soak up nicely into this bread and give it a lot of flavor. Next, take your egg, crack it in a small bowl. Oh, damn it, we're not showing that. <laughs> Whisk that up, add your heavy cream. Whisk that up, pour the cream into the large bowl. Try to mix this fast so that it gets all around all of the bread pieces. Take one of your tablespoons of parsley and reserve the rest for the end and take your sage. You're gonna sprinkle those in. Mix that up. This is ready to go in your baking pan. It smells so good. Spread it out evenly. With the remaining parsley, you're just gonna sprinkle that on top. It's gonna give it a nice, pretty garnish color. Now it is all ready to go in the oven. You're going to bake it at 375 for approximately 30 minutes or until it's golden brown. Mm. It is fresh out of the oven. It's nice and crispy on top. Let's try it. Oh, it's like got good texture. I love this stuffing and so does everybody else I make it for. Mm. Good. If you guys make this stuffing, please send me pictures on social media. I will be checking. And also stay tuned for more Thanksgiving recipes. You can look for the Thanksgiving playlist on my channel. Thank you and enjoy your Thanksgiving with your family or friends. I love you. Bye.